Hey, what's going on guys? Xavier Cottle here with Hawk 10 Analysis coming back at you again with another film room breakdown slash analysis. Today we're going to be doing Lakin Tomlinson, left guard for the 49ers. Uh, he's a really good run blocker, uh, super strong. Uh, only, only two knocks I really have on him. He's not very agile and he just really plays unbalanced, which I don't like seeing from any guard in my opinion. But before we get into the video, if you guys wouldn't care, if you could pause the video, subscribe to my channel, like to my channel. If you're new here, I post five of these a week, so you're going to be seeing film of all these great offensive linemen, uh, new faces every week. You're going to be seeing who the good offensive linemen in the league are on a weekly basis and seeing what makes them good, what makes them, what, where they suffer, how they could get better, stuff like that. So if you like things like that, uh, plus my picks and predictions videos and my weekly power rankings. Uh, I'm your guy. Come subscribe. Come to my channel. Check me out. But without further ado, let's get into this video. First play, 1456 here. Oh, guys. Here's Lycan. Let's roll that back one time. Uh, there we go. There's Lycan. Boom. Good step. Runs his feet. Gets the pancake. Great block. Fantastic block right there. One on one, he has the reaches matchup. Want to see that one one more time? Here's Lakin. Move kill over, shifts over. Let's watch a step here. Sit in slow mo. See a step, comes out. Boom. Good step, good forward step. He gets a he he gains ground with his step there. Keeps his hat on his outside shoulder until he tries to come over, and then he just puts his weight into him and pushes him. Uh, Lakin Tomlinson, uh, if I'm not mistaken, was a first round pick from the Detroit Lions in 2015. Actually, I'm almost 99 percent sure that is true. Um, and now he's playing for the 49ers here, and the 49ers are really liking him um, at that left guard spot for them. But yeah, fantastic block here from him. Next play, 14-19. Uh, I, I kind of like Lakin after this game, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I like the way he plays. He's more of like power run, mauler, run blocker. That's exactly the kind of guards I like to see in the NFL. Here he is right here. Good step. Yeah, keeps working his feet. Gets a really good block there. Get, the whole time he's he's gaining ground, so he has um, his combo block there with Trent Williams, working his way up, and then see see how he tries to, tries to flatten back out, work to the outside. He just keeps pushing forward. He knows where his running back wants to go, and he, you see the result: huge gain. Love to see that. Next play, 11.44. There's Lycan. Hope I'm saying his name right. I don't think it's Lacking, but... Never could know. Yeah, this is just... I mean, uh, it's a backside block, so... You know, how much can you really count it as? But still, yet yeah, they're, they're running uh, just a wide receiver little handoff here, and he moves his guy from the six-yard line into the end zone. I mean, what else can you ask for from your guard? You're taking a one-on-one -on -one base block, moving him six yards into the end zone. Uh, I'll take that any day of the week. I don't care if it's backside, frontside, whatever it is. Next play, 9.55. Here's Lycan. Boom. Yeah, um, right here, let's see if they pull somebody. Do they pull? Nope. He gets free released. Okay. All right, I see. Fullback takes over this end. Fullback's taking over this guy, so that means that their matchup here is combo block 259. So... One of these guys are going to have to get off and make a block on 59 eventually. But this block right here really never comes to fruition. And it's mostly because 91 seems to be pretty talented. Uh, I, I, I kind of like 91. 
Um, in most of his matchups today against Lakin Tomlinson, he actually won his matchups. So that's something to keep in mind. Lakin Tom Tomlinson makes the PFF Team of the Week. Um, f you know, for uh, f for PFF, I mean, he made the left guard Team of the Week. But still yet, he wasn't indestructible this game. I'll say that much. He he did not win the majority of his matchups against 91. Um, you know, he could be maybe a rising star or something. I, I'm not sure, you know. Uh, and to be quite frank, Lakin Tomlinson is a pretty good guard in the league. He is quality. He's a quality guard. Uh, not sure why the Lions let him go. He's having a really good year to, uh, this year at the 49ers. So we'll see. But still yet. Done talking about that. Let's uh, talk about this combo block here. One, two, block, 259. Let's see it. Where's it go wrong? This guy absorbs the contact, does a really good job of jacking Lakin's shoulder up and then working his way back into this gap. Trent Williams or Lakin never come off on this linebacker. Notice that. And this is just a really good job by this D-tackle. Right here, Lakin and Trent have to move him. These are two quality... Offensive lineman, you have to see movement. Trent should be off him getting to there, but uh, still yet. 59 just gets free release because that double team was really poor. Uh, I'll say that much. Not not a double team I want to see from uh, Trent Williams and Lakin Tomlinson. Two names that should be getting lots of movement on that. Uh, but anyways, next play, 759. Here's Lycan. Boom. Good footwork. Moves right. And that's Aaron Donald. Hey, keep that in mind. That is Aaron Donald. One of the greatest to ever do it already. At his, even at his young age of 29, 30, whatever he is. Good step. Boom. Gets his hat on his outside shoulder initially. Jacks his shoulder up. Trent Williams stays in just to help him a little bit. But keeps his hat on his outside shoulder there. So his running back can take off, and where's he go? Right off his hip. Uh, if Trent Williams secures this block there, I mean, that's perfect. But still, yet, yeah, that was a perfect block from Lakin Tomlinson there against one of the best in the game. Uh, I really like seeing that rep. That was a good rep from him. You know, he wasn't through off balance. He does a really good job of getting his hat on the outside of uh, Aaron Donald's shoulder there. And, you know, he didn't really have his way with him because it's Aaron Donald, and he's a freak of nature uh, athletically. But still, yet. Yeah, that was a really quality block there, uh, and the running back goes right off his hip. If I got a guard on my team and he can make a block like that on Aaron Donald, I'm a happy man. That's all I have to say. Boom, good block, comes in, gets a good punch on 69. That's just really good active eyes looking for extra work. Uh, knowing Trent Williams after 58 leaves is going to be able to secure 90 pretty easily. Yeah, I, I love to see that. That's just him being a good teammate there and helping his offensive line out. Yeah, great play. Great play from him there. Especially in pass protection. I love when guards have active eyes. They're just looking around, looking around, looking to hit anybody just to help their team out in just any way possible. Next play, 522 in the first quarter. There's Lakin. Boom. Yeah. Uh, he really, this is what I was talking about. 91 beats him in a lot of his matchups. And remember at the start of the video, what did I say? He plays unbalanced. He play. He's not very agile. And the reason is because he just uses his weight and his strength just to lay into people and move them. And he can do that in a one-on-one -on -one block. But when he's having to reach and this guy's, see, where was he shaded at? Shaded on his inside. He's a three eye. When his guy's shaded, um, on his inside and he has to reach him, he's going to get through off balance because he's not agile enough to work his way around really completely. And 91 right here does a great job of throwing him off balance and moving him into the ball carrier to really disrupt this play as much as it already was. That's a good play by 91. Uh, that's Like I said, the only the only way for Lake and Tomlinson really to, to um, fix this issue is just conditioning better. Uh, that's really all it is. He, he needs to work on his footwork. Uh, it's sluggish at times. I'll say that much. But it, like I said, for what he is, he's a great power blocker. So um, I think on this team, th that really doesn't matter that much. And I honestly only saw this one time this whole game. So 
He is a big boy, though. I think 6'3", 6'4", 320, 325-ish. He's a big guy. Yeah. Next play, 216 here. Yeah, one more time. 69 lined up in this three. Boom. Does a good job. Uh, I think this is play action, correct? Yeah, play action. He has to sell it. He has to take his... Uh, he has the jump set him. Jump sets, follows him, does a really good job of moving his feet here. That's just a good block. Um, play action. He sells it really well and keeps in front of his man. I like seeing that. All right, next play, 9.03. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it is 903. Three different plays for 903 right there. Okay, here he is, left guard. No one over top of him here. He's got a one tech here. He has to reach him. Does a really good job of doing it, too. I like seeing that. Um, 91, see, that's what 91 does. 91 is really aggressive, gets off the ball hard, but right here it bites him in his ass. Uh, he just tries to take off. And get hands on this center, and this center's too fast for him. Center leaves him. And then when he realizes it's too late, the guard's already on top of him and just pushes him down because he's already so low. It's a really good block by Lake and Tomlinson there. Second quarter, 442. Like I said, I, I, I really... I really do like his game. I'm being genuine when I say that. Um, other than just, you know, somewhat of his lack of agility. His mobility is not a horrible issue. Uh, this play, I don't know what he was doing. I just threw this in here because I think he, he's just, this is a mentally just wasn't there on this play. Um, yeah, he's at, he's treating it like a run, like a pass play. Uh yeah, I don't I don't know what that was. <laughs> I just kind of threw it in there because I was like, what the hell is this guy doing? Uh, but still yet. We'll let it roll. Like I said, he had a really good game this week. Um, I just kind of, you know, you know me. I throw blunders in there, here and there. Here he is. Boom. Good block. Uh, the, I mean, he has helped the entire time, but it's Aaron Donald. I just wanted to show he does thing I like here. Good step, goes to him, cuts his inside off, uses his punch to stop Aaron Donald's momentum. That's something I like seeing from him. Uh, it's one of the biggest pet peeves I have for offensive linemen in the NFL, people who just try to lay their hands on people and control them with their upper body instead of using their punch to counter their momentum. And Lakin Tomlinson does a really good job of using his punch in the past game. Something I do like about his game. Yeah. Next play, 359, I believe. Hopefully. I don't know. Kind of just got off my marker there. No, that's that play. Okay. Next play, two minutes. Two minutes. Here he is. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Here he is on the goal line. Yeah, there's 91 again. What I tell you, 91 is pretty good. I'll say that. I like his explosion off the ball and how agile he is. You see he's off balance right here initially. This is a good hit by Lakin Tomlinson. It's his uh, outside shoulder, puts his helmet on there. This guy just does a really good job of contorting his body back and making this tackle. And this is just a losing rate for like in one-on-one. -on -one, you're going against 91, you lose. That's all this was. Um, and like I said, you see how he's off balance? He's just throwing his weight on him, so he just gets shrugged off really easily. I mean, that's but that's his, that's his blocking style. And he does a really good job against the majority of people he's going against. But when it comes to this guy right here, 91, I don't know his name in all honesty. Um, he didn't really do a great job against him. And right here, he just gets beat on the goal line and causes the tackle, you know, causes the tackle. 
of what could have been a touchdown. Um, yeah, but next play, 151. Second quarter. Here we go. Here he is. He did a really good job against 69 today and um, and 90. That was his two. This is a, just a good rep. Good little quick pass. I'm not – I tried to replay it, but I'm not even going to. That was just, you know, you saw what he did. Good job absorbing the bull rush on a quick pass. Uh, he didn't really exhibit any, like, uh, super, super, super good technique in uh, his pass setting. Like, no no late hands, no um, no hop-hop drill. Yeah, no utilization of anything really spectacular, but, he, but for what he is, he's a quality guy. Yeah, right here, I just like this play because he, he works to the second level and just keeps blocking 20. Like, he, he doesn't give up on this block in any at any time. Look how good he does. He puts his hand out here, makes sure that Aaron Donald doesn't shoot this gap, lets Trent Williams take over, works to the next level, mirrors his, his matchup here, squares his body up with him, gets hands on, fights him, sees him slow down, sets back, sets his base, blocks him off from the ball, and keeps going. I love seeing that kind of... Uh, that kind of motor. Uh, he's just really working for that block at the second level. Yeah, but next play, 28 seconds. Almost out of the second quarter here. Here he is, left guard. Boom. Oh, yeah, gets beat there bad. And why does he get beat? He just kind of sets... He uh, jump sets here and just doesn't move his feet. Jump sets and doesn't make the initial contact. See, he just kind of flat foot, flat foot, flat foot. Yeah, and then moves his feet too slow. Yeah, this is just bad. I mean, they get the catch, so it's all good. But still, yeah, he got beat there. Um, don't like seeing that. I don't like seeing that flat foot. You know, if you're going to jump set, just try to make, try to initiate the contact in that situation. Don't just stand there and wait for him to make a move. Um, but yeah, still yet, it wasn't detrimental, you know, they, they still get a good gain there. And that's really a mobility issue. If you're going to have a 320 pound guy like him jump set, he needs to make contact first or he's going to get beat on a move like that almost every time. Like I said, he's not the most agile of a player. Yeah. Yeah. That was perfect though. That was perfect. Um, Right here, they bring a stunt around the the whole offensive line, and he recognizes it and then bumps Williams so he can take over his guy and Williams get the other dude. Right here, he hands him off, sees he's coming, comes over, bumps Williams, takes Williams' guy, and Williams gets on Aaron Donald, pushes him out. Even though Aaron Donald never makes it to Garoppolo there, that was just a really – that was really good protection from everybody on that offensive line, but especially Tomlinson because he had to – he really had to recognize that for that play not to go awry for them. Um, but that was really – that was a really great execute. That was great execution from Lake and Tomlinson there. Yep. All right, next play, third quarter finally. Uh, 10-41 in the third. Here's Lakin. Lacking. Hope I'm not saying his name wrong, like I said. Boom, good set. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect execution on the stunt there. Nice deep drop. Hands him off to Trent Williams and then takes the other guy that's coming in, that's wrapping around the inside. That's a great rep there from him and Trent Williams. Uh I really like this left side of the offensive line for uh the 49ers. I think they got it made there. Uh, he gets a good push on 54, makes sure Trent Williams can get in front of him, and then takes over, really good deep drop. Makes a good pocket here for Garoppolo. Uh, Garoppolo ends up getting hit by somebody here. Oh, Aaron Donald, who else? Uh, off the edge there. Unfortunately, I don't think that caused a bad pass. Uh, he was kind of feeling the pressure here a little bit, but this is just a poor pass from him. Uh, definitely not because of these two guys right here or that guy. 
So yeah, good rep there from Lycan. Like seeing that. There's Lycan. Yep. Um yeah. Uh, I, I really just threw this in here because, like I said, he, what did I say? He plays off balanced. And right here, 91 just puts the brakes on him. He can see he's just way out in front of his feet, way over his feet, not doing anything, which he really don't care because it's, you know, it, it's the ball is coming around. This really works in his favor. But you see, he still finds somebody to block. And, yeah, if this wasn't such a good play by this guy in the backfield here, number 54, this might have been a different story. There was tons of blocks out here. But still, yeah, good job. You know, if I'm liking, if I'm the coach, I want Lakin just to turn back around and keep blocking number 91 and 97. Just really making sure they don't get back over here on this play. 54 makes a great play here anyways. Off balance, getting back up and getting the tackle. Still yet. Um, he, he got me, he kind of got, he, he kind of looked dumb right there just because of his, his play style. There's Lycan. Boom. Does a great job handling the stunt there again. See it in slow-mo. Good depth. Sees 54 wanting to go up. Gets a good push on him there. Make sure Trent William takes over and then comes back into the inside and takes him over. That's a good pocket there for Garoppolo. Garoppolo loves seeing that. Delivers a good ball out into the flats. Let his, let his running back get him a first down. Ooh, running back lowers the shoulder there. I like seeing that. Might be, who is that, Mostert? Maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, next play in the third, 113. Okay. And then after this, just five plays left, and then we'll talk a little bit more about them. Here's Lycan. Boom. Yeah, like seeing that. Ooh, kids can put it on the ground. But that that really doesn't matter to me. This was a great block by him. You see how he comes down the line. The reason he gets put on the ground is really not because that guy is just overall way stronger than him. Let's see here. Uh, it's just because he's off balance. Pretty sure I've watched this clip once or twice already. Well, I know I have, but uh, I mean, I've I've studied why that happened. Yeah, he gets tripped right there, and he just kind of gets through down. It's not really that anything major there, but this is a good block from him. Look how much, look how look how big this hole is right here. And then he still, even though he gets tripped, he gets in the way of 59. Here is what really matters. Aaron Donald causes this tackle, pushing uh, Mike McGlinchey. I think that no, that's the D, uh, the right guard, pushing their right guard back into uh, the play there, causing him to trip. Still, yeah, that was a really, really good block by Lakin Tomlinson. You like seeing um, your guard being able to push a one tech two gaps over. You know, that that's perfect. That's exactly what you want to see. Ten twenty one. Here's Lakin. Boom. See, see a step, good step there, and then works the next level, then turns and blocks, and that's a, that's a really good job. It's a good job getting his hand in there, making sure center can take over. Yeah, that's a really good block from Lake in there. I liked I liked how efficiently he worked to the next level. He just looked really smooth doing it. He's not the fastest guy, like I said, but um, when he works to the next level, he does it pretty, you know. Uh, I would say effortlessly. It doesn't look like he's laboring to get there and laboring to make his block, uh, which you know is somewhat a testament to his agility that I say he really doesn't have that much. But 
Well, when it comes to making a backside block, he can do that. He can do that well. I'll say that. So his agility, you know, it's not good, but at least he can move well between between one to second, the first and second level. Right there is just a fantastic block. Uh, he's he's just getting good depth, getting good depth, waiting for waiting for people to come. He knows a blitz is coming. He can see it. Stunt comes, gets on this guy, and then just runs him into the ground. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Drops him right to the ground. Great block there. There's Lycan. Yeah, it just gets beat. Uh, I can't really tell who this guy is. It's not Donald. That's 91, I believe, again. But, you know, initially, he does a good job initially. But, again, he, he's just out on his way, got his, has all his weight out, and just gets kind of tossed to one side because of it. See how he's just got all of his weight forward. Boom, gets tossed. This guy makes a tackle. That's one thing I want to see him work on is just his technique. I, I want to see him stop being so far out, you know, just extending his whole body just to try to block somebody. I don't like seeing that. Uh, and it's got him beat on more than one occasion this game, so that definitely needs to change. Someone needs to, in that organization needs to come to him and be like, hey, dude, you, you got to stop this. Um, next play, 324. <clears throat> now, that being said, it's still effective in most cases. In most cases, his blocking style is effective because he's play he's at guard. He's playing against these ones and threes who aren't ninety nine percent of the time super athletic like they like the like the Rams have, like Aaron Donald and uh, ninety one. I think ninety one is a pretty quality player after seeing this game. I have to look up more of his film just to just to get a bearing on how he is. And I'll be able to use him as a barometer, uh, grading other offensive linemen going forward, just knowing uh, how he played against Lake and Tomlinson. Let's see it one more time here. This is against Aaron Donald. Does a good job. See how he's not out on his weight there? Does a good job of just keep mirroring him, keep mirroring him, keeping his vision from being in the backfield. It makes a quality block there. Running back runs right off his hip for a good game. Two minutes. Yep, this is the dagger right here, Debo Samuel. Here's Lakin. Boom. Yeah, perfect block here. Runs right off his hip for the dagger to end the game. Him and Trent Williams, great combo blocking and gets the pancake. Yeah, what a way right there just to end that off. That is a great block from him. Uh, yeah, that's all the clips I got, but uh, I'll talk a little bit about him for a second. Like I said, I, I think he is an exceptional run blocker. When we're talking about just power in general, uh, zone, he does have a few issues. I think his combo blocks are, I wouldn't say they're horrible, but it, it's like he could just bring a little bit more. It's like he's just he's just kind of like, all right, he's doing the bare minimum on his combo blocks sometimes. Some some of them you saw good uh, good things, like when you saw him down block, uh, onto the one tech over a center. You saw a lot of movement there, and you saw a huge hole open up. But I'd like to see more of that from him. Um, but, yeah, other than that, I mean, he's strong. He He's smart in the pa in his pass protection. He recognizes stunts really well. Um, he's not getting a, getting out of his gap. He, he's staying in his gaps. He's doing what he's supposed to do. He's, he's very aware of what's going on around him and what his job on the field is. Um, I would just like to see him maybe lose 10 pounds, something, you know, just work on his agility a little bit. Cause I think he's strong enough to where he could lose 10 pounds and still be a very good run blocker. Uh, and it, and losing that 10 pounds and working on his conditioning a little bit would really help him working to the second level in, in the zone run, uh, department. So yeah, but other than that, I love Lakin Tomlinson as a player. I think he's a great player truly. Uh, and I hopefully we'll get to see more of him on this channel. But that's all I have for today, guys. Uh, you know, if you're still here, I appreciate it. If you like the content, you know, like and subscribe. I'm posting these all the time. You know that. 
uh, if you've been here for a while. But yeah, that's all I got. Um, like I said, if you're still here, thank you for being here. But until next time, guys, peace.